Hello everyone, here I am again with the next video on my viewers request list and that is how the Life Path 8 is supported by your passions and motivations in the Soul Urge number 1. Now, as you know, the Life Path is the most important number in your chart. It is the reason why you're here, it's your purpose, but it's also your difficulties and your things to develop in this lifetime. And all the other numbers within your chart exist solely to support your life path eight. And your soul urge number one is what provides you your drive, your motivation and your passion. It's what gets you up in the morning. It's what gives you that little squirrely feeling in your tummy when you're really loving what you do. It's the sort of thing where you lose time because you're so engrossed in what you're doing. And that's the, the soul urge number in play. So if you are a life path eight, you're here to achieve that and you brought with you the passions and the motivations and the drive of the energy of the one. Now, let's get this right. It's got to go on there. Um, yay! So when you're a life path eight, these are difficulties that you're here to achieve. These are not talents you already have. This is your road that you've chosen to walk in this lifetime. And the elements that I'm about to talk about are elements that you're going to find difficult to achieve in this lifetime. And it's something that you're here to face the difficulties of and uh, transcend. So if you're a life path eight, you're here to learn the secrets of financial abundance. So you're here to learn to earn money, whether that be in business or a high ranking career. You're here to learn to understand how money is made by working hard and making things happen in your career and business and the finance world. Now, this is going to be a difficulty because this is your life path. So you might struggle to enter the workforce. You might struggle to start any kind of business. You may be loads of obstacles are in place, but that's what you're here to transcend, to be able to get past any obstacles that you have when it comes to creating financial abundance in the world and we'll get past them. You must learn to share the abundance that you make through your life path to help others. So it's like using your abundance, whether not just financial, your abundance in everything, your abundance of love and care and help that you can give to others, but also the financial and sharing that with others to help those other people to develop or achieve success like you. Some life path aids struggle with that and they might spend, if they do make abundance, they spend all their money on like status symbols or, or they're the kind of people that make and lose money quickly without actually using it for anything good. So it's very much, when you've got a life path eight, you're really very much learning how to manage money and how to use money in a really, really productive way. And because of that, you may manage, have difficulties managing money, making money, losing money, or your attitude towards money. Some life path eights struggle and feel that people that are wealthy are unethical, or if they're wealthy, they might feel guilty for their wealth. Or, you know, some people might think, the, you know, um, the wealthy might not like people that, you know, haven't got much money. They might think they're lazy. You know, it's just having a a negative attitude to money when really it's just the energy of exchange. It's just a tool. So lastly, the life path eight needs to balance their personal power. So the life path eight can either be too timid and walk to on or uh, really subordinate, or the life path eight can be overly dominant, overly aggressive, you know, and like intimidate people. And what the life path eight is looking to do is to not be submissive, but not be over dominant, but to balance that person or power so that you exude confidence and charisma but that's what you're here to achieve so you may have struggled in your past with being subordinate or walked on or maybe the other side of the coin you might be a bit over aggressive and dominant sometimes but that's just your path to walk you know 
So you need to balance that in this lifetime. So when you're a life path eight, you learn, you're here to learn to create financial abundance. You're here to learn to make money. You're here to learn how to make money, how to manage money, how to develop a good attitude towards money. And consider that uh, abundance is not just about money. It can be about giving your time and your love and, you know, your, your just, you know, your anything. You know, whatever you have and that you can give away will come back to you tenfold at the end of, at the end of the day. And using the abundance you make in business to help other people to develop rather than just frittering it away. And of course, balancing your personal power, which would make you an excellent world class leader. But that's what you're here to achieve. So remember, these elements are going to be difficult. Now, remember, your soul urge one isn't a talent. You know, this number isn't going to help you or give you the ability to achieve this path. But it's going to be your motivation and your drive. And it's just as important as your expression number for helping you to achieve your life path. So when you're a soul urge number one, you are motivated by the one energy. You're, you, the, the one energy gives you passion. It gives you that, that, that fizzy in your tummy that makes you really, really want to do and achieve. And when you have a soul urge number one with a life path eight, this can be very good in many ways. Because when you are a soul urge number one, you want to work towards being a leader to have that balanced personal power. You have a passionate interest in business and new ideas and um, innovation and achieving success in the world which is what you need to do for your life path eight and you have a desire to act in business or your career be prompt and act strongly with confidence you know and have independence to act in the world and learn by experience as you go but be successful develop yourself learn move forward be highly energetic that's what you really want to do. And that's really going to help motivate you in many, many ways to help you achieve your life path eight. But there's a few elements where it helps you more than others. So I've broken down the life path eight. Normally in between nine and ten sections, I always forget whether it's nine or ten. And we will look at how the soul urge number one supports the life path eight on each element or doesn't support the life path eight on each element. So. You're both spiritual and worldly when you're a life path eight, but you're here to learn the secrets of worldly financial success, as I said at the beginning. And you seek the freedom that comes from having financial success. But freedom brings responsibility and your ethics will be tested multiple times. So you may struggle in, you know, not only to create financial abundance, but you may struggle to be ethical with your financial abundance but remember that's just part of your purpose for this lifetime so your life path eight suggests that you're here to achieve financial business success but in an ethical way and your passion and motivation in the one energy provides you with an interest in business and achievement new ideas being in charge being the leader you're here to develop towards you're motivated to innovate and lead others to great achievement in the business and financial world which supports your life path eight beautifully so you know you're going to be very motivated and interested to to achieve your life path eight which is going to be really helpful for you uh, planning meetings as an expression one, not your favorite thing to do because you're a doer. You like to you like to get started and experience rather than talk about it and think about it and, and you know, sit doing nothing. You know, when you're an expression one, you're very much a doer. Um, so you might struggle with the planning meetings, but, you know, you need to develop towards being able to be involved in them because business and career isn't all about action. You've got to have some amount of planning and thinking that surrounds that action. So support your life path eight by learning how to create financial abundance in your career or business pursuits and follow positive ethical business and financial goals. OK, it's really important that the, that the abundance that you build, even if you share it, is made by ethical means. And remember, you're both spiritual and worldly. So you have a connection to source energy that if you keep intact, will help you to stay very ethical. Keep listening to that intuition and it will help you stay an ethical business person. You're also here to learn to use that financial success 
as a tool to help others achieve the same success because money is energy you're merely passing that energy on so that it can be reused and even passed on again rather than locking that energy into material gain and, and items like bits big bits of metal and look at me everyone you know things that depreciate things that lock up financial lock up the energy really you know and you know the life path eight can be a bit prone to spending their abundance on materialistic status symbols um but and your passion and motivation in the one energy means that you want to be independent and to focus on your own personal development and success and you quite enjoy the limelight and the accolades of success so you may not always want to use your abundance to help others i mean you're wrong you like to use that money to develop yourself to push your at yourself sort of higher up which is fine you know that's there's nothing against that we all need to move forward in life and put ourselves first sometimes but for your life path eight try considering using your a little bit of your abundance start slow you know it could be just giving people your time you know whatever you know take small steps towards supporting other people to be a bit more successful because this supports your life path eight investing in your investing your abundance in others a little bit more it will be very rewarding and of course not only will it be rewarding but it will help you develop yourself and your life purpose in the life path eight so this isn't necessarily going to be an easy thing sharing your abundance with others because you're very motivated by um, self-achievement and developing yourself and you're more likely to want to spend your abundance on developing yourself or you know you might buy a few status symbols you know because you you, you know the one energy um you like to crave a little bit of um, validation from other people and you really like the idea of being in the spotlight and being successful so you might not always consider all the people other people all the time okay but that's what you can develop towards for your life path eight okay you're here to develop a healthy attitude towards money as i said right at the beginning you may resent or hate wealthy people or you may feel guilty about your own wealth but you must understand that financial wealth does not equate to poor ethics you know, it, your life path eight suggests that you need to view money a little bit more, um, more healthily, viewing money merely as energy that can be used as a tool for positive and negative. It's not the money that's the issue, but your passion and motivation in the one energy means that you may be interested and will be interested in business success and making money because that's what the one energy is all about as part of your soul urge. You see money when you're a soul urge one as a legitimate personal reward for your hard work. Why would you not? Um, you could be prone to hoarding money, uh, you know, keeping it for a rainy day or, you know, more likely overspending because the one likes to be lavish and the one likes to have the good things in life. But support your life path eight by understanding that financial wealth is merely energy. OK, it's a tool and another lesson for your personal soul evolution. OK, you cannot take your toys with you, only your learning and your experience and your love. You know, you can't take those toys with you, just your experience, your soul's development and all the love that you've created around you in your lifetime. You're here to develop balanced determination for achievement but with integrity for the good of others. Remember, those ethics are coming up again. You can be either obsessed with achievement or fearful of achievement from low self-esteem. So you can swing for either two. Some people swing from one to the other. Some people swing really far one way or the other way. Okay, so you can be a workaholic. You could be top of your game. However, you know, you have no balance in your life. You have no family, no loves, and your, your, your life is totally your work which is not necessarily healthy for you. On the other side of the coin, you don't work at all. You might even be on the streets because you have no, no ability or you haven't developed the achievement idea to get a job or go to college or school that the paradigm demands. So a lot of life path eights are either top of their game or sitting on the streets, you know, as, um, you know, as tramps on the street. So it's about balancing that determination and that need for achievement. So your passion and motivation in the one energy 
um, so your 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 interests, your get up and go, and your drive. You have a strong interest in achievement, um, and you, you you're likely to prioritize that achievement above other things because you're a soul urge one and when you're a life path eight as well with that propensity to be in a bit of a workaholic you need to really be careful that you're not overdoing it and working too much making sure you're keeping your family in the loop or your friends or your free time i guess in a nutshell work-life balance OK, so balancing that need for achievement. Now, it's possible that you can swing the other way because the soul urge one, you know, you might have confidence issues at times, but, you know, you really want to get out there. So just be careful you're not working too hard and keep nurturing that confidence of yours. You're here to develop inner confidence and personal power that is balanced you know you're not too dominant and you're not walked on or submissive either you know you're not swinging from over dom dominance and almost misuse of power which is you know the you know the the top end of the polarity or hiding away in submission to others which is the other end of the polarity so your your passion and motivation in the one energy means that you can be dif have difficulty with your personal power um, you can be overconfident, quite impatient, quite aggressive, high energy, want everything done now. Um, you love to be energetic and you only value action. You can be a bit impatient and you don't suffer fools gladly. So you can, you know, sometimes maybe swing towards sort of uh, intimidation, a little bit of dominance and aggression, because both the one and the eight can be very dominant numbers. So especially when it comes to leadership. So, you know, when you have a soul urge one, you have to make sure that you're leading in a balanced way. So support your life path eight. You must develop balanced personal power so that you neither dominate or allow others to dominate you. Balanced confidence and personal power comes from a strong belief in your own intuition and your own inner compass, as I said earlier. And remember, you're as practical as you, you're as spiritual as you are practical. So you have that ability, you have that potential to connect with source energy and make sure you're channeling source wisdom. Okay? So that you have the confidence behind you to start balancing your personal power and believing in yourself. But this personal power thing is not going to be easy from someone that's really passionate about getting things done. Sometimes you are going to be a bit impatient. And it's just because you're really driven to get things done. So you need to really take care that you're not being over dominant with people at times. OK, really, really important. You need skilled leadership, as I've said many times, that consists of, you know, um, balanced personal power subject competence and social skills which is what comes from that you know and charisma which comes from balanced personal power so your life path eight needs you to learn to be an effective leader um, and your passion and motivation in the one energy provides you a strong interest in being a leader which is great you're motivated towards leadership you're you're driven to developing your leadership skills you love to be in charge you're always developing yourself and your skill set but you're not so motivated at times to develop your social skills. The one energy is not so people motivated. You know, you have the potential to rob, rob people up the wrong way sometimes because you won't prioritize, um, you know, niceties to other people or, you know, social conventions. You know, you, you, you won't be about social conventions. You're, you know, you're more about getting the job done and getting it job done within time frame. You know, you're quite impatient. OK. Um, so to support your life path eight, work on improving your manner towards others, you know, especially if you can get a bit impatient and a bit rah, you can be powerful and charismatic if you stay in contact with your inner voice and trust it to guide your actions and your communications confidently. Now, remember, none of these elements are going to be easy to do, you know, so take your time with them. It's your life path at the end of the day. You've got your whole life to achieve this stuff. You're also here to work hard and be an excellent practical business person because that's what the Life Path 8 is all about. But you must ensure the workaholic thing that you do not work too hard. You need time out. You need time for your family. It's more focus and onus on your work-life balance. Okay. 
So your passion and motivation in the One Energy provides you with your interest in practical business. Very task um, related. Like I said, not so much on the family thing, especially early in life. You love to achieve, take risks. You like to progress. You're very dynamic. You're very strong in the world. You know, you're a good business person. You've got, you know, you're, you've got, well, not necessarily talented because that's your expression number, but you have the motivation to be the best business person ever. But you're at risk, again, of becoming a workaholic, as I keep on about. And if you don't need to, if you don't balance that need for achievement and take time out to rest for your for your own well-being and for your family, you know, it's it's going to be detrimental to you. So support your life path eight, participate in the practical business and career projects that you need to for your life path, but with healthy amounts of rest and family time. It's really important that you take time out for you and your family. Vital. You're here to be worldly. You know, when you're achieving in the world, you've got to be worldly. You've got to be strong. You've got to be resilient, disciplined and realistic. You've got to be, you know, it's a cutthroat world out there, they say, don't they? To be successful, you need to be strong, you need to be tough, you need to be thick-skinned, you need to be able to cope with the change and the ups and downs in the world. And your passion and motivation in the one energy provides you with the desire to be powerful, you know, the desire to be brave and strong and face the world with a hard front. You know, you're strong and you're tough and you're resilient and you want to be. You know, the soul urge number one does not want to be seen as weak and you will want to stand strong. You will be passionately driven to stand strong against this world and be resilient and disciplined and tough. You prefer to move on quickly from downs as you're impatient to move on to the next. You're not one that likes to sit you know, and dwell on the past, you know, move on to the next, learn by experience and move on. So use your passion and drive for strength and resilience to support that life path. Eh? You're also here to develop courage and bravery to take risks. You know, you're never going to be successful in the world without taking a few risks. So success comes from having the bravery of taking risks and you're here to create and develop financial abundance and develop the skills for making money and knowing what you're doing when it comes to creating financial abundance but you've also got to be brave and take intuitive calculated risks for your progression but your passion and motivation in the one energy provides you with that desire to be dynamic brave take risks to succeed you love you 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 use your love of courage and bravery which you have in the one energy to succeed to support that life path eight you know you're you're very strong you're very forceful you'll surge forward you'll you'll push past obstacles with a battering ram you know that's what you want to do for your soul urge one but it's important that you go within and listen to your innate stored intuitive wisdom when deciding which risks will bring you the best return source consciousness and your intuition your spirit guide, daily spiritual practice, keep connected because this is going to help you to take the best risks. So if it doesn't feel intuitively right, don't do it. But if it feels intuitively right, do it and it will come with good results because listening to your intuition will always work out for you or there'll be a lesson embedded that you've needed to learn in this lifetime. So you're, help, you're, you're here to develop that an organization uh, develop management skills, resolve to making things happen, um, achieve and meet your goals, set goals, achieve them, you know, make things happen in business, organize and direct the processes like a leader would. Um, and your passion and motivation in the one energy provides you with that drive to do just that. You love to manage, you love to organize, you love to surge ahead and make things happen. You don't like waiting around. Your drive for success and management and goal achievement will be invaluable to help you achieve your life path eight. But remember that work-life balance very, 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 very important. Now, I hope you found my video useful today. If you're not yet subscribed, please do so and click that bell icon. Then you'll be up to date with all my latest uploads. If you'd like to request a reading on all your core numbers and the conditions that you may come across over the next few months, days, months and years, then please contact me through email or through my social media that I'm going to put in the description box. If you'd like to learn numerology, I've got a Udemy course that I'm going to put a link to. And I also do one-to-one 
one-to-one -one coaching that I can work with you one-to-one -one as a mentor if you'd like to develop towards being a reader and a practitioner. So as ever, guys, I want you guys to trust the soul within you because only your own intuition knows what's best for you. See you soon.